I went out and bought like a big knife the next day and I just like kept a knife on me at all times that, and never told anybody just to kind of uh, uh, have that sense of danger. When we did the very first table read for the very first episode, um, John Turtletaub asked the entire cast if we were the killer, if we wanted to know ahead of time. And um, they made it clear that they would prefer not to tell, but, um, but they said that they, they would if we felt like we needed to know. For me, I always felt like if I was going to be the killer, it wouldn't change how I performed it anyway, because he's behaving as if he's not. That's the face that he's presenting to everyone. So for me, it didn't really matter. But the emotional thing that happened uh, was episode eight, I think was the first episode that I knew, and that's the episode where he killed his brother. So knowing that I killed my own brother was an interesting emotional key that I think it was important that I knew that it was me. One of my favorite memories was the intense frustration of working with Elaine Cassidy near the end of, of filming because I desperately wanted to tell her the truth um, about uh, Henry being the killer and she absolutely refused to let me tell her because I had the, the go-ahead that I could tell Elaine at, at one point and she wouldn't let me. She, I was like, listen, I, I, you know, can we, can we talk? I want to talk about, you know, the uh, the plot, and, uh, and um, you know, Kareem talked to me, and, and she, added, she just shut it down. She did not want to know. Um, it was really important for her, and it drove me absolutely nuts. I think it was the first time that I'd actually died on screen, and I loved that scene because I, I knew. If I could pull it off, I could make the audience feel sorry for this serial killer as he's dying with a wailing knife shoved through his abdomen, professing his love for his, his half-sister. And it was such a spectacular death. I really just dug deep on the truth of it for Henry, which was that he loves her and really doesn't understand, to the end, does not understand why she won't love him back.